getting here friends welcome back to my youtube channel my name is daniel and you're watching to Plus Girls galivantas it's another new day and we'll be talking about estonia since the video i last posted about estonia i've had a series of questions from people asking me where exactly is estonia and like where is it located like why the hell didn't i know about this country what's happening there you know, so I decided to make another video about Estonia. So, without wasting much time, let's get right into this video. Estonia, officially called Esti Vabarik, in English, Republic of Estonia, is located in the northern part of Europe. But most people would say that it's located in the eastern part of Europe. But for me, to be on the safe side, I say Estonia is located in the northeastern part of Europe. So, you see? They you don't have to argue, like, very simple. You can make more research about it anyway, to know where exactly you belong to, maybe the north, or the east, or the northeastern, like me. Estonia is bordered by the Baltic Sea, across Sweden to the west, the Gulf of Finland to the north, across Finland, Gulf of Riga, Russia to the east, and Latvia to the south. The official language spoken in Estonia is Estonian language. Ah, maybe I can speak a little bit of the Estonian language so you know. Uh, so to say good morning in Estonia is Tere Omikus. And maybe to ask how are you, you could say uh, <laughs> you could say Quidas Sulleher and to answer, how are you? You would say very good, which is like Baga here, or you could say Baga Hasti, or you could say Hia Aita. That's uh, good, thank you, or very good, that's Baga here. And uh, there are also other languages spoken in Estonia, but it's not the official language, which is Russia. English, Finnish, many more languages are spoken but the main official language is Estonian uh, but we have more people speaking Russian, English, Estonian and Finnish. So I'm not so good in speaking Russia or even Estonia itself but I just speak a little bit of Russian to, to just try, <laughs> to just try my skills. So uh, in Russian if you would say good morning or, yeah, if you say good morning, you could say Dobre Utro and uh, you could ask how are you by, by saying Kakti and uh, to answer like um, good, thank you, you would say Arashos Pasir. Estonia restored its independence on the 20th of August 1991 at 11.02pm local time. Estonia also joins the EU, that's the European Union, on the 1st of May 2004. Estonian population is 1.3 million. Are you sure? Yes, Estonia is really small. 1.3 million people and Estonia currency is Euros. And also, the capital of Estonia is Tallinn. Yes, please do not make the mistake to spell Tallinn wrongly. Because if you do, we'll come after you. Yes, Tallinn is spelled as T-A-L-L-I-N-N. Correct. Estonia is divided into counties from a NUTS 3 level. NUTS, that's N-U-T-S, meaning nomenclature of territorial unit of statistics. It is common statistical classification of regional units that the EU uses to collect and produce disseminate regional statistics. NOT3 is actually the smallest administration region compared to the NOT1 and NOT2. Estonia is grouped into divisions according to the NOT3 level statistics. It's grouped into the Northern Estonia, Western Estonia, Central Estonia, Northeastern Estonia and also the Southern Estonia. Estonia has 15 counties and 79 municipalities. 
These 15 counties are led by governors that represent the national government at regional level with five years appointment. Each county has its own municipality or municipality. Yeah, so for example, Ayu County has about 16 municipalities where Tallinn is actually one of the four urban municipality and the other 12 municipalities are rural. Tallinn also has its own districts like Kesklin, Kristin, Mustame, Lasname, Pirita, Nome and many others. It is also said that Estonia has in total 47 towns or states. I will be wrapping up this video by telling you a few beautiful things about Estonia. First, in Estonia, we have free transportation. Is that not good? <laughs> okay, and also in Estonia, we have an identity card. So every member in Estonia has this ID card that we use to file our taxes, we use in the uh, at the hospital, we use them for like signing documents, like Estonia is really digital. So for every member living in Estonia, we have all our details in this ID card. And also in Estonia, you can work and study. In Estonia, we have free PhD studies and also Estonia is very entrepreneurial. So I believe that I've fed you with a lot of good news or a lot of good stuffs about Estonia. I'll be making more videos actually about Estonia to even tell you weird things about Estonia and I'm sure that you love those videos coming up. So thank you very much guys. If you're new to my channel, please you can write at the comment section below to tell me you're a new subscriber or you're a new joiner. You know, I'll be glad to see that. Do not also forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also if you've been like watching my video right up to this extent you're the real g and i completely appreciate your effort thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you guys again in my next video bye